Illinois police officer was shot to death in September. Swarms of cops joined a dragnet to find the three men he said he was chasing. The cop was hailed as a hero, cut down in the line of duty until today when we learned it was all a lie. The officer, an instructor who created fictional crime scenes, had done it one last time. And here's Dean Reynolds. After a two-month, $300,000 inquiry involving 150 investigators, it came down to this. Lieutenant Joe Glinowitz was a crooked cop who killed himself but tried to make it look like a murder. George Falenko commands the Lake County Major Crimes Task Force. Glinowitz committed the ultimate betrayal to the citizens he served and the entire law enforcement community. They're gonna come in, they're gonna take Investigators say for seven years, Glinowitz stole tens of thousands of dollars from a youth program he oversaw. The Explorers program for prospective police officers was turned into his personal piggy bank for first class travel, mortgage payments, and subscriptions to pornographic websites. He behaved for years in a manner completely contrary to the image he portrayed. That image was of a straight arrow, G.I. Joe kind of cop. So popular with the public, thousands turned out for his funeral. On September 1st, investigators say Glinowitz drove on patrol to a secluded area and radioed that he was following three men. Minutes later, a backup unit found his lifeless body with two bullet wounds. But as investigators looked deeper into his death, through 6,500 pages of his texts and 40,000 emails, they found evidence pointing in a troubling direction. One text threatened that the body of a local administrator looking into Glinowitz's finances might wind up in a swamp. The shooting scene also raised doubts, with things like his pepper spray and eyeglasses scattered on the ground to suggest a struggle. But the coroner found that Glinowitz had shot himself twice, once in his bulletproof vest and once under it, with his own semi-automatic handgun, which he threw into the weeds before he bled to death, what investigators called a carefully staged suicide. Richard Maury was a Glinowitz neighbor. G.I. Joe went from a hero to a criminal. Commander Falenko later told us the episode left him feeling ashamed. Those acts reflected on the entire police community. We took a black eye. A day before his death, Glinowitz was told that his program was being audited. So officials say he tried to make it appear as if he had died in the line of duty because, Scott, he wanted to be remembered as a hero and not as a thief. Dean Reynolds tonight. Thank you, Dean.